Hey everybody, it's your crazy fan girl Shime. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, so today, uh, first video of 2023, happy new year to everybody, it's a bit already like a little bit into 2023, but oh well, it's the first video of 2023 for crazy fan girl reviews, and what a show to start with! <laughs> We are starting off with The Last of Us, HBO, like the show, oh my god, guys, I am so excited for this show, we've been waiting for this for a while, I actually have been avoiding like all the teasers and the spoilers and everything because, yeah, I started playing this game when I was very young and it changed my life, it changed a lot of people's lives on the internet, I absolutely love this story, I love the characters, if you don't know it, Come along with the journey with me. I will try not to spoil anything for y'all. If you're new around here and you're new to Last of Us, please watch this show because as a video game, the medium is just so... It changed the way storytelling goes in in, in the games. Like, it's so good. And even mechanics-wise, it changed everything. And then, obviously, story-wise, a lot of shows and, like, movies even took inspiration from it, surprisingly. And now we finally have the show from its namesake. So without further ado, I don't want to talk too much because I really want to jump into this. I've been avoiding spoilers all day because it came out five hours ago. I only finished work. I had to do overtime because work's annoying and just... <sighs> I am so done with today and I'm so done. Just... I'm done! <laughs> Remember to please like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. <laughs> Psilocybin? Also a fungus. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds. There's a fungus that infects insects, gets inside an ant, for example, travels through its circulatory system to the ant's brain, and then floods it with hallucinogens, thus bending the ant's mind to its Damn. Will. Fungi starts to Getting a science lesson here as well. <laughs> like a... Keeps its puppet alive. Oh wait, the, the guy on the right, he's from Twilight. Lol. <laughs> change what if for instance the world were to get slightly warmer well, no. climate change oh that's actually frightening oh my god we lose holy shit i need to remember as well that this is made by the guy who made chernobyl <gasps> oh they did not! Oh my god! I wasn't- oh. I need to put this on low because otherwise I'll get copyrighted. Holy f Oh my god! If you guys- Oh! Gustavo! <laughs> my love. He is the guy who made the incredible soundtrack for the game. I love that they stuck with it because I was like, oh yeah, they'll probably make a new thing. I'm glad they stuck with it. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, already. <laughs> oh, there he is. Uncle Tommy. Oh. To those who play the game. Workshop thing. Huh? We're done for today. It's 3 We should go. <laughs> oh. She's becoming one of them. Oh, God, she went back to normal. Oh, the dog. Oh, that's terrifying. I love this build up of tension. It's really well done. So sweet. Did you? <laughs> oh, here I go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My heart. It's too riveting. <laughs> Law enforcement and emergency services are in the area and will be in contact with further instructions. <laughs> Toki! Oh, Sarah!
Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh my god. Oh, run! Oh my god. Ah, Jesus. I don't mean to be smiling, it's just because that's part of the game. And I didn't think that they would add everything into this. The others would take Nana into the city. To the hospital for stuff. That's right. It would. It's about the way. Oh, that's perfect! Love that. Uh... We got a kid, just so do we. Keep trying to keep him. Look back in the back. Joel, already, his survivor, like, instinct is kicking in. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm alright. I'm not okay. I'm alright. Oh. oh my god. Don't be okay. My ankle. We gotta get off the street! You keep your eyes on me. Okay? You don't look anywhere else. Oh. This already fucked this show. <laughs> <laughs> Run! Run! These are different to walking dead zombies! You can't just walk it! Oh! 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 my god! They're hell! They're 100% accurate! Ah! Second, hot second, stop. Oh, I need a second to breathe because holy fuck. I'm surprised I didn't cry. I think it's just maybe because of the personal turmoil that I went through today at work, but who knows. Anyway, holy shit. Let's just recap real quick. Holy fuck, dude. As someone who's played the game and never thought that a show could probably get the same standard as what it was, the way they've built up the tension to that point just exactly like the game um there's obviously some added detail that they had but they just did it really well and i'm very surprised by how good it is um already i'm in love with pedro as joel it's perfect and yeah that whole sarah scene was perfect before i cry let's continue <laughs> Wait, does- I can't remember, does the red mean that he's infected? Yeah, I think they're putting him to sleep. Holy crap! The transition from like this sweet, sad moment to flames. Jesus Christ.
Mm. Oh, it's that little boy. Oh my it took a Joel to do it. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say as well, just the way that they've made the world like so alive, it's so well done. What do you want me to say, Jess? Oh, this actor! Oh my god! He's very good. What about your guy? So when he sees you, I mean, put yourself in my shoes. He answers to me. Joel is very protective. So I give you my word. Yeah. Jesus! Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, Tess. They're shooting. They're shooting at us. On your knees. <gasps> there she is. Oh wow, she looks angelic. <laughs> G3, slowly and clearly. One. <laughs> People from Fedra, you hear me? Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! Damn! I'm gonna say. For a hot second, she sounded like Ashley Johnson, who's the v the actress who played Ellie originally. Hey, there's a line. <laughs> Joel's special, guys. Guy, but there are worse things than infected out there. I hear everything on this. There are raiders. There are slavers. Are you sure Tom is okay? Just wants to make sure his brother's okay. Jesus. I mean, I was going to say, I don't think anybody would like to live in the world that they're living in. <laughs> Wait, was that a dream or? Oh no, I think that had to have been test, right? I don't know. I mean, we all guessed it too in the game that something was going on between them. Nothing's lost. This shit like this is gonna happen. Battery. Tess. Sure, it's no good without one. If I don't get to Tommy soon, he's gonna die out there. Okay, fuck it. Oh. We got the money back and the battery of your children. <gasps> oh, wait. The Queen! One of the OGs. She's the original Marlene from the video game. Ah. Oh. I can't get over it. He looks so good as Joel. Feeling lost. You tell me to look for the light and I'll break your jaw. No. So cool. Because it's where you'd be safest, and you were safe there until you decided to sneak out. A terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? <gasps> oh, that's cold, Marlene! <gasps> oh, Jesus! My God! Oh, God, my heart. That's beautiful design work, though. Smell that? Oh, something's dead, I think. Oh, something's dead. Yep. Oh. Oh! Oh, is that Robert? Yeah, that's Robert. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he just threw her like a rag doll. My god. Out of the zone tonight. We won't make it anywhere. You're gonna do it. I'm not going down. Let me. It looks like a... I'm sorry. Bloody Pedro. Hold on. It's not pausing. Bloody hell. Bloody Pedro standing there like he's a bloody <laughs> cowboy. Looks great. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. <laughs> Your watch is broken. Oh, the pain. Yes. When was the last time? Every year was better. But you know where to go. So we're gonna be okay. Wake me up before you go, go. Gotcha. Okay. Listen. <laughs> he was about to lecture her. <laughs> Very Ellie. Oh, bless. I like that Tess is like almost very motherly towards her. It's very sweet. Hey, hold Get on. on. Fucking knees. Get on your fucking knees. Hold on. What am I fucking telling you, man? I said stay the fuck home. Really, man? Yep. We're doing this by the book. Oh, no. All right. Oh, no. First, my job for half off. Out of your fucking mind. Ellie! Oh no! Oh my god. How dare you! shot oh my god I mean that holy crap dude that was so good I as a video gamer we've had and video game fans know this we have not had a lot of faithful adaptions from video games to movies or TV shows uh, it's not been great especially to film film it's been a freaking headache um, but this Already I'm hooked because it's got everything that's it's per it's a perfect balance of a lot from the video game plus new content that we like that's different. Uh, I just have to say that whole opening like 30 minutes was perfection like the pacing and then the the rising sort of like um, What's the intensity like I, I knew that this was gonna happen perfectly because this is the exact thing that happened with Chernobyl. Chernobyl was like just this rolling pin uh, effect throughout the whole TV show. So in the first episode, we saw that rising intensity and then we saw worse, 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 worse episode after episode, but it was beautifully done and just so good in terms of reflecting like the events that did happen in Chernobyl. That was freaking crazy. But this, like, they did it beautifully and I'm so happy to enjoy it because I was so nervous because like this whole time leading up to it I was like trying not to get my expectations high. I knew Pedro would be amazing and he definitely was. We'll get to that in a second and I knew like the actors look amazing. I think that they like fit in the story beautifully and I like the changes that they've made so far from what I've seen but I'm also nervous because I'm like what are they gonna do that's different? I don't know. Also the music was a big factor especially in the um in the breakout scene and also in that ending whole ending it part was so good and just that or again the opening scene like that opening like five ten minutes of like that interview in the night i think in the 1960s or something when they're talking about fungus was like so scary because then it's like we're all thinking about it because it's like oh yeah heat and all stuff it's like wait are they talking about like us like right now like that's terrifying please don't but yeah it was that was beautifully done i also really just enjoyed Again, um, I loved Sarah, the actress's performance who plays Sarah. She was perfection. Um, and just, I love the relationship her and Joel had. It was really, really good. And just, Pedro, again, he's perfect at playing a dad. When I found out that he was going to play Joel, I was like, why didn't I think of that before? Because I didn't even think of him. I thought of everybody, every other actor except for him. And he plays all the dads in cinema now. So it's like... Why not him? And he's perfection as Joel. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings because it's not a white person, but I think Pedro was a really good pick to play Joel because he is perfect even like 
in the early stages, like, before the 20-year gap, and he's just, like, you know, this guy who's trying to be a good father, trying to, like, you know, get all the money, like, that he can to, like, provide for his daughter and even for Tommy. And I love that Tommy lives with them. That's just, like, I don't know, this, like, this, it shows, like, how protective he is over his brother, which is so sweet. I love that they showed that a little bit more. Um, and then... This, like, post this, then we see him wanting to find Tommy and stuff, which is so sweet. And then, like, we also see the hardened version. So we see him, like, he's not as nice as he used to be. He's, like, you know, F off, like, leave me alone sort of thing. And that last part, just the flashback, that was rude. But, like, it was perfect because it was, like, of course he's going to protect her. And just PTSD went at it. Like, what he couldn't do originally, he did it to this guy. And, whoa. He wrecked him hard, so his face is gone. <laughs> I can't wait to see sort of the lays that we get to see to Pedro's performance because he's a great actor. We've seen him in so many things now and just, I, I, I think he's just going to pull this role off so beautifully. I can see that he's got a soft spot for protective, pr like protecting people, loving people and just taking care of the people he cares about. Um, and I, it's canon, him and Tess, like... Please, the video gamers who think that they were canon as well, you got it, guys, come on. We all saw it coming. Like, <laughs> they were so cute. And I just love that they're this hardened couple that just is hardcore and they just, like, they do what they do to survive. I love it. Going to Ellie, um, Bella Ramsey. Holy crap, dude. She is, like, amazing as Ellie. Uh, I don't know why, like, people like the idea of just, like, copying and pasting the video game version into the show, which is impossible, but... I think Bella is perfect as her and just exudes all the necessary like sass and drama that there is in Ellie like um and I also love the switchblade I'm not sure because that's not in the game either so I don't know what significance it has but I feel like it has a big significance funny enough because that's sort of like in replication of what happened at the beginning with Sarah with the switchblade too with Joel's switchblade so that sounded sort of cool, but I know that obviously this is not the same. So I'm wondering where she got it from. What Was it from Riley? Was it from her mum? Who knows? We'll find out. Yeah. I just, I, lo I love it already. And just, yeah. I have so much I want to say, but I don't want to carry on too long. Because already the reaction is probably going to be super long. But yeah. I love it. I approve. And I can't wait for the rest of the show. It's going to be so, so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of reaction of The Last of Us, uh, episode one. And what's the name of the episode? When you're lost in the darkness. I was also going to say, just like the set design of everything, like from, again, the breakout to the, like, to the, like, 20 year gap and how much has changed, like, so good. It's really, really good. And they did such a good job of just making it so realistic. And again, I said it before, I don't think anyone wants to live in the post-breakout area because, oh my god, it looks like hell. And I love that they're showing that because, I don't know, it feels more real and more tangible and just, like, the way that they've done it. And especially, like, with the, looking at, like, Joel's, um, basically, like, one-room apartment, just, like... Um, like, the bed is made of, like, bricks. Like, holy crap, dude. Like, yeah. Like, so well done. And I love that. I can't wait for the next episode. <laughs> dude, the fucking... Mm, the little old lady, like, just, like, crickling in the back. Like, ugh, And then she's, like... Oh, uh, she had the thing coming out of her mouth? Bleh, just gross. Bleh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, no. That's why I was like, huh? Just no. That that does no. Please no. <laughs> so yeah, Whew, I'm gonna end it here. But I'm excited to see more. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bingo out. Woo!